You would is get you it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be making our best overall squad that you can build right now in NBA 2K24 my team now just as a preface to this video to make this squad from scratch you're looking at probably about 500 or so dollars so i mean just know yes this is the best squad that i think you can assemble right now but is it worth the money to put into it no and we'll be talking a little bit about that uh just a little bit further now as we do dive into this again smash that subscribe button if you are new to the channel really do appreciate all of the recent support starting point guard obviously devin booker there's no if ands or buts about it devin booker is the best ball handler in the entire game probably the best offensive player in the entire game now the one thing about devin booker that i do want to make note of is his defense is not great i'm not saying his defense is unusable i'm not saying like you can't have success with Devin Booker because, I mean, you still absolutely can. Yes, his defense isn't great, but you can still have a lot of success with the card. You know, 6'5", decent height, decent frame. I'm just saying, compared to some of the other point guards that I'll go through and maybe talk about here, his defense is probably going to be one of the worst. Now, flip side of things, offensively, again, probably the overall best player in the entire game, offensively speaking, and, uh, and I think you can get by with that defense. Now at the shooting guard position, I'm making up for the defense with Mr. Diamond Ron Artest. Here's the deal. Is Ron Artest the best shooting guard in the game? No, but I do think when it comes down to defensive shooting guards, I prefer him over a guy, let's say like a Jimmy Butler. So if you want to run Jimmy Butler in your starting squad, that's perfectly fine at the shooting guard position. I just think Ron Artest, as far as three players, is probably my favorite right now. I, I, I just like his release. I feel like he, does, he never misses. And defensively, I just think he gets me a ton of stops. So I know it's kind of just my personal opinion, but I've had a ton of success thus far with Ron Artest in my team and pairing him alongside Devin Booker you need a good defense player I think Ron Artest is perfect small four position this should be no debate LeBron James no debate no ifs ands or buts about it no questions asked LeBron James is our best small forward in the game by a wide margin if anybody says LeBron James is overrated I just don't think they know what they're talking about. Now, does that mean LeBron James is worth his price? No, I'm not sitting up here in front of you guys saying he's worth his price, but he is the best small forward in the game, and I just don't think people can argue against that. And if they do, I'd be one to tell you guys that they just do not know what they're talking about. If somebody has the audacity to say LeBron James is overrated, or LeBron James is not the best small forward in the game, they legitimately, genuinely just do not know what they talk, they're talking about. His release as the biggest green window I've seen uh, throughout the years. His, his offense is fantastic running to the rim. Defense with his player amount of player build is, is honestly getting to the point where it's underrated. LeBron is still one of the best on-ball defensive players in the entire game. And with Hall of Fame chase down artist, he gets crazy fluke animations as well. Again, I just, I don't like when people talk about, yo, LeBron is just overrated. LeBron's not that good. LeBron is absolutely elite in my team. And until everybody respects it, I will keep talking about it. Starting power for position, we're plugging in Pink Diamond Giannis. Now, obviously, if you don't have the Pink Diamond Giannis and you're running the Diamond Giannis, you can plug him right in here too. I don't really care. The thing with Giannis is he is seven feet tall. Defensively, it's tough to do what Giannis can. It's tough for anybody to replicate what Giannis does on the court because he gets you stops. Obviously, he has a good player model, snags every 50-50 re every rebound Giannis onto Kubo seems like he comes up with he just does everything at such a high level on the court and I feel like people have to respect him I hate playing against Giannis nearly more than anybody else whether it is the diamond Giannis or the pink diamond Giannis and I think it all starts and ends with that player model like nobody else can replicate what he does on the court Giannis is always super good in 2k because of that player model player book his stats are sometimes different I mean he sometimes can't shoot that well but I feel like Giannis always has to play because of how good his defense truly is starting center this one is not even a question Diamond Anthony Davis or, or Diamond D-Rob that's what I meant to plug in here I, I typed it in wrong I guess Diamond D-Rob I do believe is the best center in the game 7-1 Hall of Fame rebound champion chaser snags gets you paint stops he also has a good release i just think he's the best center in the game now we'll get to diamond anthony davis when we head to our bench unit he's really solid as well but to pair d rob alongside a guy like Giannis, i do think is important because you got a really good stretch big that they can't leave it all in d rob with a guy in Giannis who 
Can he knock down shots? Sure. Is his three ball super high? Is his release super good? No. And so that's why I do think it is important to pair them together, at least a big man that has good release and can shoot with Giannis, because again, Giannis isn't that big of a threat from behind the arc. As good as Giannis is, that is one thing he is not going to do, is be a big time threat behind the arc. You know, not to say he's not going to knock down shots, because he will, but people don't necessarily have to cover him super tight. Moving on to our bench unit, headlined by a diamond penny hardaway at the point guard position now i feel like it's important here when you're running penny hardaway you're gonna want to run a shooting guard that can get a bucket that's why i didn't run penny hardaway with ron or test right and we'll look at it when i get to my backup shooting guard who you guys are gonna be like duh ty he should be the starting shooting guard but you gotta pair your backcourt devin booker needs a lock next to him penny hardaway needs a guy that can go get a bucket and so without further ado i'll just plug in the shooting guard you guys are gonna say oh ty he should for sure start i get it Pink Diamond Kobe should for sure start. But if you're running a guy, let's say, like Penny Hardaway, he needs a bucket getter with him. And that's why I want to play plug Kobe in with him. If you want to do something like this in which you start Penny and start Kobe instead of D-Book and Ron Artest, I am perfectly okay with that. As long as you pair them together, because look, Penny's way better defensively than Devin Booker. Kobe's way better offensively than Ron Artest. And so it, it just comes down to that. Finding the pairings, I do think, is more important than about anything else in my team. And I think it's something that a lot of people just kind of overlook. A lot of people don't think about, oh, I, you know, I'm just going to run the best squad. I'm going to run Devin Booker with Kobe and Penny with uh, a guy like Ron Artest. Well, that's fine. But then when it comes down to it, when you're struggling offensively with the backcourt of Penny and Ron or Tess, I don't want to hear it because I would be the first one to tell you they should not be at ran together. Moving on to the small forward position. This was a really tough one. Could have went a lot of different ways. I'm going with Diamond Kawhi. Could go Diamond Kawhi. You could go Rudy. You could go uh, Luol Deng. You could go Jason Tatum. There are a lot of different guys you could plug in here at that backup small forward position. I plugged in Kawhi because I like defense and I still think Kawhi is one of the overall best defense players in the entire game especially when you're looking at on ball defenders i don't think it gets much better than the diamond Kawhi. and so for me whether you play him at the shooting guard small forward position i don't think that matters at times i think Kawhi is still going to get the job done at a at an extremely high level i think what really matters is how do you use it right you if you have penny and kobe Kawhi shouldn't need to make a bunch of plays he should be able to spot up and defensively get your stops and that's all I'm asking out of the card. If he can do that for me, he has a spot on my squad. Kawhi Leonard, my backup small forward. Backup power forward. We're running pink diamond KG. Now, KG is super difficult to get. You have to literally complete every game mode. Clutch time offline, clutch time online, triple threat offline, triple threat online, unlimited triple threat co-op. You have to get it all done for KG. Is he worth that? Probably not. But if you get KG, you should play him because he can knock down shots. He plays immaculate defense. The card just does everything at such a high level that if you have KG, you should 100% be running him. And on the flip side of things is he's free. So, I mean, look, as much as, as this is a pay to win 2K, they at least made KG solid enough to be a top 10 or so card in the entire game with his defensive ability, with his ability to knock down shots. At least they made him a top 10. Coming into my backup power forward position. Backup center position. This is a no-brainer diamond Anthony Davis. Now, if you want to, let's say, run Anthony Davis at the four and KG at the five, I don't care. Those two are interchangeable. I just think I like AD at the five, KG at the four, just a little bit more. I like both of these cards. AD, when I've used him, has just been absolutely immaculate. Talk about an easy to time, easy to green release. That man, Anthony Davis, has it. Meanwhile, he's going to play some of the best defense in the entire game. Has a good player model player build. He gets you legit stops. And, and meanwhile, on the offensive end of the court, they can't leave him because his release literally is so good. Three ball is so high. Meanwhile, his dribble style is so good that you can make the occasional play if you're up against a big guy that doesn't move extremely well. Anthony Davis, when it comes down to stretch bigs, is the complete package. Not quite as tall as D-Rob, but I think he is nearly just as good, if not better than D-Rob. I, again, like him maybe more at the center position than the power forward position because I don't think AD gets matched. I think rebounding-wise, he's really solid as well. And I just think as far as when I'm looking at the full picture, I like him at that center position just because of all the pressure he puts on the defense. Moving into my last three spots, at my number 11 spot, we're plugging in Hakeem Olajuwon. I, uh, look, I went back and forth. Do I want to plug in Kareem? Do I want to plug in Hakeem? 
I went with Hakeem just because Hakeem's going to shoot the ball better. Again, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Kareem's obviously way taller. The thing I hold on to is Kareem does not have Hall of Fame rebound chaser. And that bugs me beyond belief. Should it bug me as much as it does? Probably not. Because Kareem, he's 7'2". He's still going to snag rebounds probably quite often. But the fact of the matter is... Why did I lock in for a diamond? And obviously Kareem was great. He had a decent three ball with no Hall of Fame rebound chaser. It just bugs me still to this day that I didn't notice that more because all the other top big mans, big men in my team have it outside of Kareem. That's why I plugged in Hakeem at my 11th spot. At my 12th spot, SJ. Now I went again back and forth between SJ, between Cade Cunningham. You could even plug in Drew Holiday in this spot if you wanted to. There are a lot of solid point guards. I went with SJ just because his release is fantastic. 6'6 six, six plays decent defense. And just overall is a really complete point guard. Let's say you're struggling with Penny in a game, need a spark. I feel like SJ could come in and give you guys that. That's why he did get plugged into my 12th spot again. If you want to plug in Cade or your favorite point guard, do what you got to do. I just decided that I, I, I look, it, it was just my personal opinion that I went with SJ over a guy like Cade in my team. Last but certainly not least, this one's going to make a lot of people mad, but I don't really care. Paul George. Now, this is coming from me. I never got Paul George. And that's kind of, I don't want to say it's a big regret because I saved MT, but that's one of my bigger regrets is not getting Paul George when he came out because he was so far ahead of his time. 6'8", could move, had a good fade, could dribble. He could he could do it all on the court. And again, one of my biggest regrets is not buying him right when he came out because his longevity is still a top 15 card in the entire game. And I know people are already getting mad. What? Him over Jimmy? Are you serious? You've obviously never used Jimmy, man. I've not used Jimmy. I've not used PG, but I've played against both. And I'm here to tell you, I think Paul George is, is, is better than Jimmy Butler. I'm here to tell you that. And so that's why I'm plugging him right in there to my 13th spot. Because I think if you're plugging in a secondary shooting guard small forward, Paul George is the guy I want to plug in to just have on my team in case things get dicey. That's going to wrap it up with me building the best squad, my best squad in my team right now. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Is there anybody I left off that you guys would have had on? Maybe it's even a Kareem. Maybe it's a guy, let's say, even like a point guard that you guys like. Let's say like a Cade Cuttingham or maybe even a James Harden. I know some people really do like and appreciate James Harden. So let me know that down below in the comments, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.